In this video, I'll show you how to blur a moving object in Premiere Pro. Hi everyone, I'm the Web Guru. I do tutorials on audio, video, and photography, so be sure to leave a comment and subscribe. And here inside of Premiere Pro, I have a Jaguar that is moving across the screen. And I would like to blur his face. So uh, let me show you how to do that. So first of all, um, select the clip in the timeline, and then we're gonna add the blur effect. So I'm gonna go to the effects panel um, by going to window effects, and mine shows up over here. Then in the search box, I am going to type in the word blur, and then scroll down to the video effects folder, then inside of blur and sharpen, there's something called the uh, Gaussian blur, which is one of the most common blur effects. And I'm gonna drag that onto the clip inside of the timeline. Then I'm gonna go to the effect controls panel. So I'm gonna go up to window, effect controls. And then inside of the effect controls panel, you might have to scroll down a little bit. Uh, right here is a scroll bar until you find the uh, Gaussian blur effect and I'm going to increase the blur amount until the shot is nice and blurry. Now of course right now the entire shot is blurry so I have to create a mask. So right underneath the word Gaussian blur there's three types of masks. There's an ellipse, a rectangle, and basically a free draw. There's the pen tool. So I'm gonna click on the ellipse, and now you'll see kind of a default uh, ellipse on the screen. I can move that around, and I can adjust the size of it by uh, dragging the square handles. And I'm going to reduce the size of it to cover the Jaguar's face. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger than I need it to be right now because the Jaguar's face actually gets bigger later on in the video. And then to soften the edges of the mask, there's something called mask feathering. So I'm also going to uh, increase that value. Um, and now I do have a mask on here, but the mask is static um, while the Jaguar is moving around. And there are times here in the video where the Jaguar's face kind of moves out of the mask. So I need to fix this. So I'm gonna start at the beginning of the clip here, and then um, we can keyframe. We can actually keyframe the mask, which basically means move it around on the screen as needed. So over here where it says mask one, there is a property called mask path, and all you have to do is click on the stopwatch icon, which will turn on animation, and it will create a keyframe that looks like a little diamond. And then uh, when I do this type of work, I also like to turn snapping off. So it looks like a little magnet here, so I'm going to turn it off. And then I can manually adjust the position of the mask. So first of all, I need to click on the word mask one here, so that way I can see the mask outline. Then I'm going to manually move the mask Every time I move the mask, Premiere Pro is creating a keyframe for me. And then I'm going to manually move ahead in the timeline. And then if necessary, I will adjust the position of the mask. Now, by the way, this can be kind of a laborious process because I am manually creating keyframes. And depending on how much the object is moving around, you may have to create a lot of keyframes. Um, so this can be kind of labor intensive. And then as I get toward the end of the video, I am almost done here. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts, the left and the right arrow keys, to move one frame at a time until I get to the very end of the clip. And I'm simply moving ahead in the timeline and then adjusting the position of the mask. Every time I adjust the position of the mask, Premiere Pro is creating keyframes for me. So now it is pretty much done. So now as I watch my clip, it looks fine. I think the only thing I might do is I might increase the feathering here just to make the edges of the mask a little bit softer. 
And now I think that looks, uh, I think that looks better. Okay, great. Now let me show you another example. So over here, I have some personal information on a screen capture that starts moving off screen. And first of all, I need to mask this personal information. So I'm going to select the clip in the timeline. Then I'm going to add the Gaussian blur to it. I'm going to go to the effect controls panel and increase the blurriness amount until I can't read the numbers. Now in this case, I'm going to choose a different mask. I'm going to do the uh, rectangular mask and then I'm going to move it over top of the numbers and I'm going to feather the edges a little bit. When the shot is static, it works fine, but then of course it starts moving and now you can see that the masking is not working. The mask has to move with the numbers. Now I've already shown you how to do this manually, but let me show you a really cool trick. What you can do is right underneath mask one, next to mask path, there's a play button and that will actually automatically track the mask forward. That means Premiere Pro will move the mask for me using artificial intelligence. So when I click that little play button, Premiere Pro is creating the keyframes for me and adjusting the mask for me. So let me show you what that looks like now. So now as I play forward, you can see that it tracked the numbers forward. Uh, now oftentimes when you use this technique, you might have to clean it up a little bit. If I go frame by frame, uh, I'm using the right arrow key on my keyboard. You can see it tracks it very nicely until we get to the top of the screen. Then it gets kind of confused and the mask just kind of sits there. Um, and so now we're gonna still have to manually clean this up. You're also gonna see a whole bunch of keyframes here. Now this looks like a solid white line, but actually what Premiere Pro has done, if I zoom in by dragging the handle here, what Premiere Pro has done is it has created one keyframe every frame. So that might even be, uh, for this video, I, I believe it's around 30 frames per second. So that means 30 keyframes per second. So there's a whole bunch of keyframes in here. Um, and now I do have to manually clean this up a little bit. So I'm gonna go frame by frame by using my left and right arrow key. Now this is the point right around here. This is where Premiere Pro gets confused and goes kind of off track. So now I am going to manually move this up to follow the numbers and I'm actually going one frame at a time like this until the numbers go off screen and that's gonna be very soon here. And I think one more frame and now I'm going to move the mask completely off screen because I don't need it. And now if I move a little bit later in time, you can see right at this keyframe, I don't need the mask anymore. I'm gonna go back one frame using the left arrow key. So at this keyframe here, I've moved the mask off screen and I don't need it. I don't need any of these other keyframes now. So I'm actually going to select them with my mouse just by dragging and I'm going to delete any of the keyframes that I don't need you can select them one at a time, or you can also drag with your mouse to select all of these keyframes. I'm gonna delete them. And now if I play this clip from the beginning, Premiere Pro has created a lot of these keyframes for me, and then I had to do a little bit of cleanup at the end, and now I am happy with the, uh, with the results. So this technique can save you a lot of time, uh, you might have to do some manual work yourself, but it's better than having to do all of the manual work yourself. Um, and hopefully that uh, technique was helpful for you. So uh, let me know if this works for you or if you have any questions. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what type of videos you want me to produce. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. And in the meantime, keep learning and growing.